Mr. Corlean, can you please conduct roll call? Yes, sir. Mr. Jones, Here. Mr. Adams, Present. Mr. Grove, Here. Mr. Melvin, Here. Mr. Wendell, Here. Mr. Araby, Here. Chairman Oten, Here. Mrs. Chasson, Here. Mr. Lorraine, Here. President Chasson. Here. <laughs> okay, great. We have a full house. Great. Um, if everyone would please rise, we'll be led in the invocation by Councilman Grove, followed by the Pledge of Allegiance by Councilman Wendell. Okay, we'd like to welcome everyone to tonight's deliberations. We'd respectfully request that you please put your phones on silent or turn them off out of respect for others uh, in the meeting tonight. I'd also like to remind anyone wishing to address a council that there are blue forms at the entrance that you came in. Uh, if you could fill one of those out and get it up to the council clerk, we'll be sure to recognize you. Additionally, when we get to ordinances, uh, we'll ask for public input um, at that time for anyone wanting to come up and uh, talk about an ordinance, their comments on an ordinance, and when we get the resolution, it'll only be the council before we go to vote. With that said, we'll jump right into tonight's meeting. Item A, approval of minutes. Number one, motion to accept the minutes of the October 24, 2023 regular session, Silver Bell Council, Woman Chesson, second by Councilman Adams. All in favor signify by saying aye. aye. Is anyone opposed? Motion passed with nine yeas and zero nays. Item B, state and or federal legislative updates. I don't see any legislators in the audience. Item C, we have none for tonight. Yeah. Item D, uh, we are going to defer that uh, to the next meeting. Is that correct, Mr. President? So deferred uh, to the no November 28, uh, 2023 meeting. Item E, legal advice report. Uh, the DA's office did advise me they were going to be unable to attend tonight, so that's why you don't see them in attendance. Um, item F, engineers and or architect reports. Uh, Joe P. Ciola with P. Ciola and Associates, 115 P. Ciola Parkway in Cutoff, Louisiana. Uh, how do I do that? Push? Hello? Testing, testing. <laughs> All right, one more time. <laughs> Joe Piciola with Piciola and Associates, 115 Piciola Parkway in Cutoff, Louisiana. All right, our first project is the Airport Connector Road and Bridge. Uh, this project's moving along pretty good. Um, next slide, please. Just kind of flip through them. Um, they're working right now on uh, pouring concrete on the bridge towers and working also on uh, doing the bridge control house. Uh, they're making good progress, um, and they're also tying in the airport connector road from uh, actually from 3235 going towards LA-1. Um, we're scheduled to um, be complete with this project in September of next year. All things look like we're on schedule to complete that uh, as scheduled. Um, the next project is Nolan Toops Outfall. Uh, we've been helping the parish uh, with doing surveying for this. Most of this project is complete with DPW. Uh, we maybe have a couple more things to do in the end. Uh, and our hurricane, Ida storm damage repairs to the bridges. Um, we're, we're done with the project. The project is complete with the lean period. And there's a couple of little um, pickup items that they need to do uh, to finish out the project. On the Hurricane Ida storm damage repairs, uh, Twin Oaks pump, pump station is complete. Uh, the contractor was Norris and Boudreau. Um, we do have a substantial, uh, I mean, a clear lien certificate, so 
I mean a substantial completion, so we're in a lean period now. For, our, for the Rita pump station, we're gonna upgrade that pump station. This is a FEMA funded project. Uh, we're gonna uh, take the old pumps out and put two brand new 24 inch pumps. Uh, currently we uh, applied for the permit with uh, DNR and um, uh, we're, in, we're, we're going through that process right now. We're not quite yet on public notice. On Road Sales Tax District 2 Priority Road List, we completed all of our surveying and the project plans are 95% complete. They're with Dylan for review right now. And these are pictures of the Leeville boat launch. Uh, Lowland Construction is the contractor. Um, he's working on bringing in limestone right now. He's complete with the repairs and the reconstruction of the wharves around the boat launch. You can see that. And then he's also been dredging. So the last uh, week or so, the, the boat launch has been closed. He's scheduled to complete the dredging uh, either tomorrow or the next day. So um, we should be reopening the boat launch for public loose, uh, use in the next two weeks. Um, and then he should be able to finish the remaining work with the boat launch open. Uh, that's going to mostly include his working on the, on the fishing piers. Um, and this is the Delta Regional Authority grant for double wall fuel tank replacement. So we're going in a bunch of old pump stations throughout the entire parish. We're taking the old fuel tanks out and adding double wall fuel tanks that are compliant with, um, with the environmental restrictions. Uh, that's the ring pump station, Choctaw Fire Stump pump station, 101 pump station, Mike's pump station, Crest pump station, Clotilda pump station, Edgar Guidry, LaRose pump station, Parr, and Tibois pump station. And at the same time, we're redoing all of the, all of the uh, fuel piping and then also adding fuel pumps so that we have positive flow to all the, the diesel engines. And right now with this, we're complete with our surveying. We're complete, 95% complete with our plans. Dylan has looked at them and we're incorporating his comments uh, and hopefully we're gonna go out for a bid sometime after the first of the year. Any questions? On the uh, Mr. Lorraine. So I guess the pier is gonna be the last thing that they're gonna finish at that's, the boat launch. That's right, he has all the material at his shop and he's trying to prefabricate what he can at his shop, but they have to pull the old piles out. So once he's finished dredging, He's going to take the rig and he's going to pull the old piles out, the old wharf out, then start driving the new piles for the fishing. So field. do you see that being ready for the end of December or sometime in January? I would say sometime in January. Okay. Is that, uh, my question is, is there some warming that has taken effect there? So whether it's not just the next hurricane, boom, all this is going again? Or is it, are we just going back to what was there before? So the... We did apply to do some armoring, and some of it got approved, some of it didn't by FEMA. But we, we are going back with more rip rock riprap around the edges to beef that up stronger, and we are elevating the parking lot a little bit more. Now the, the fishing pier, what we did was we're going with fiberglass grating now instead of uh, aluminum hard planks, and that way we've had the other boat launches that had grating on it, when the waves came through, the waves were able to go through the grating and not provide uplift on the plank. So that's what we're doing for the fishing pier to make that more resilient. All right. Thank you, sir. Much appreciated. Thank you. Good evening. John plays on the GIS Engineering, 16878 West Main Street and Cutoff. First project for you all is the Butch Hill Pump Station. Uh, we submitted a 98% set, uh, so we're getting close to the end. We've gotten some comments from Dylan to address, and we're doing that. So uh, we should be pretty close to being ready to advertise for bids for that project, hopefully early next year. The Valentine Pontoon Bridge is still a process. We're awaiting uh, the NEPA permit. We have gotten the 95% design comments back and we're incorporating those. Uh, we continue to host monthly meetings with the all DOTD, the Federal Highway Administration and the Coast Guard in compliance with the RAISE grant so we can get uh, that funding in place. 
Grand Bayou Freshwater Reintroduction. We met with Thrustmaster of Texas, a bow thruster company. We will be uh, doing some tunnel thruster testing at UNO uh, to tie down a potential design of that thruster. And we've, and as we're doing that, we're going through our modeling data and making sure that it, all that's done and, and the correct baseline information is provided. The waste collection facility, again, we've uh, found a huge layer of trash. We're still working with y'all to see exactly what uh, path forward we're going to be going on. Hurricane Ida pump stations. It's kind of making progress. We, I was talking to the South Fouche Levy District about another project yesterday. The wheels are turning. They're just slow with FEMA. North Barrio Street drainage improvements, uh, which is being funded, uh, again, partially by the Lafourche Parish Drainage District Number 1. The project has uh, been awarded. We've issued a notice to proceed as of Friday before last. Contractor, of course, has been slowed down a little bit by the rain this week, but he is continuing on and should be finished by the end of the year. Eunice Alamon, we submitted a final plan set and specifications as well as an opinion of probable cost to the YAL for review week before last. The elevated boardwalk, we're still working on that. The geotechnical field exploration was performed. Lab testing is underway. Uh, U.S. Corps has gotten some, has requested some additional information for the actual alignment. Uh, typically, well, for phase one of this project, when we went through, basically we started, and when we got to a tree, we turned. But they want something a little more specific, so we're trying to convince them they don't really need that, uh, but we're working with them on that. And that is the last project to have for you all this evening. Yeah, that wetland is not too wet right now. It's awfully dry in there. Um, I had a question on the... Um, on the Bagala pontoon bridge. So um, what's the next step? What can we expect? I, I'm assuming y'all will be here one month from today giving us another report. What can we expect difference from today versus in a month from now? That is pretty much going to depend on the feds. They, we're waiting that permitting process, and it's just going through. It's taking, I want to say, longer than we anticipated, but we kind of were hopeful that we would be done by now, but we kind of expected it to kind of drag into the beginning of next year. That's still kind of what we're looking at. All right. Thank you. Anyone else has anything for John? Much appreciated. Okay, thank, thank you, you sir. All right. Brings us to item G, public wish and address of council, public hearings, agenda items, et cetera. Ms. Carleen? None. Brings us to item H, public hearing and ordinances for ratification. Now I entertain a motion to open public hearing. So moved by Mr. Jones, second by Mr. Adams. All in favor signify by saying aye. Is anyone opposed? Motion passed nine yeas and zero nays. Item three, ordinance approving an active donation between Lafourche Parish Government and Lafourche Parish Sheriff's Office for camera equipment and authorizing the parish president to sign SQM and minister said donation and any all relevant documents. Ms. Shesson will move for me on behalf of the administration, second by Mr. Adams. Would anyone from the public like to comment on ordinance number three? Second call, public input, ordinance number three. Last and final call for public input. Anyone from the council wants to discuss this? There being none, we'll bring it to a vote. All in favor, signify by saying aye. aye. Any opposed? Yes. Motion passes with eight yeas, zero nays, one abstention. That instance abstention being Councilman Window. Good, Ms. Carlin. All right, item four, ordinance approving an active donation between Lafourche Parish Water District number one and Lafourche Parish Government for the donation of various materials and authorizing the parish president to sign SQM minister said donation and any all relevant documents. Ms. Shesson will move on my behalf for the administration, second by Mr. Adams. Would anyone from the public like to comment on item four? Second call, public input on item four. Final call, anyone wants to talk on item four from the public? Anyone from the council? There being none, all in favor signify by saying aye. Anyone opposed? Motion passed, nine yeas, zero nays. I now entertain a motion to close public hearing. So moved by Mr. Jones, second by Mr. Adams. All in favor signify by saying aye. Anyone opposed? Motion passes nine yeas and zero nays. Item I propose ordinances. Ms. Chasson, you have the floor, ma'am. 
Thank you. Proposed ordinance number five to install caution autistic child and area signs to be placed on West 204th Street with one sign to be placed midway on West 204 Street and one sign to be placed three houses before the end of 204 Street, Galliana, Louisiana, Ward 10, District 9, Parish of Lafouche, State, Louisiana, and providing for the placement of caution autistic child and area signs as stated above. Mr. Daniel Lorraine. Proposed ordinance to establish a 15 mile per hour speed limit on West 75th Street, Cutoff, Louisiana, Ward 10, District 8, Parish of Lafouche, State of Louisiana, providing for the placement of speed limit and watch for children's signs and providing penalties for the violations thereof. Mr. Daniel Lorraine. Proposed ordinance requesting no dumping of trash signs be posted on the bayou side of East 177th Street, Golden Meadow, Louisiana, Ward 10, District 9, Parish of Lafouche, State of Louisiana and providing for the placement of no dumping of trash signs as stated above, Mr. Daniel Lorraine. Proposed ordinance number eight, granting a variance from Lafouche Parish subdivision regulations from the 12 foot utility <coughs> servitude to reduce the utility servitude to five feet on lots E68 east to East 76 and to reduce the utility servitude to 10 feet on lots East 77 dash East 83 in the settlement at Live Oak, Phase 5, Mr. Adams for administration. Number 9, proposed ordinance amending ordinance number 6830 that amended the 2023 operations and maintenance budget and capital outlay budget for the Fouche Parish Council as well as settling as well as setting the salaries of unclassified employees as provided for by Article 5 of Fouche Parish Home Rule Charter, Mr. Otan for administration. Thank you very much, Ms. Chasson. Item J, resolutions number 10, resolution ratifying the appointment of Mr. Benjamin Como to represent Tulane University Alumni Association on Lafourche Parish Civil Service Board. Ms. Chesson will move for me on the administration, second by Mr. Adams. Any discussion on item 10? There being none, all in favor signify by saying aye. aye. Any opposed? Motion passed to nine yeas and zero nays. Item 11, resolution ratifying the appointment of Mr. J. Walker Jones, Jr. to represent Southern University <coughs> Alumni Association on the Lafouche Parish Civil Service Board. Ms. Shelson will move for me on behalf of administration. Second by Mr. Adams. Any discussion? All in favor signify by saying aye. aye. Is anyone opposed? Motion passed, nine yeas, zero nays. Item 12, resolution appointing one member on the Lafouche Parish Animal Shelter Advisory Board representing Council District one, number 1. Mr. Jones for the administration. Who do you have, Mr. Jones? Yes, Captain John Champagne. John Champagne, second by Mr. Adams. Any discussion? All in favor signify by saying aye. aye. Anyone opposed? Motion passes, nine yeas, zero nays. Item 13, resolution of reappointing one member to the Lafouche Parish Tourist Commission Board representing the town of Lockport. Ms. Chesson, can you move on my behalf for the administration, please? Yes, sir. We have one vacancy, one reappointment. Ms. Zina Sampe. Ms. Zina Sampe, second by Mr. Adams. Any discussion? All in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion passes, nine yeas and zero nays. Item 14, resolution appointing four members on the Head Start Policy Council as parent representatives and alternate. Ms. Chesson for the administration. Who do you have, Ms. Chesson? We have four vacancies and four applicants. Ms. Renee Cherami, Ms. April Sierra, Kaylin Thomas, and Natalie Opie. Opie. <laughs> I get a second. Second by Mr. Adams for Cherami, Sierra, Thomas, and Opie. Any discussion? There being none, all in favor signify by saying aye. Any opposed? Motion passes, nine yeas and zero nays. Item 15, resolution appointing two commissioners on the Veterans Memorial District, Ward 10 of the Parish of Lafouche, State of Louisiana Board. Mr. Lorraine for the administration. Who do you have, Mr. Lorraine? John Vague and Vincent Doucet. Mr. Vegas and Mr. Doucet. Second by Mr. Jones. Any discussion? All in favor signify by saying aye. Is anyone opposed? Motion passed, nine yeas and zero nays. Item 16, resolution reappointing one member on the sewage district number one board. Mr. Melvin for the administration. Who do you have, Mr. Melvin? One vacancy, one applicant, Mr. Roland Sheremy. Mr. Sheremy, second by Mr. Lorraine. Any discussion? There being none, all in favor signify by saying aye. aye. Any opposed? Motion passes, nine yeas, zero nays. Item 17, resolution reappointing one member on the fire protection district number 8-C board. Mr. Adams for the administration. Who do you have, Mr. Adams? Travis Chasson. Mr. Chasson, second by Mr. Jones. Any discussion? All in favor signify by saying aye. aye. Is anyone opposed? Motion passes, nine yeas, zero nays. 
Item 18, resolution reappointing one member on the Fire Protection District number 8-A board. Mr. Adams, Fed Administration, what do you have, Mr. Adams? Malcolm Cortez. Mr. Cortez, second by Mr. Jones. Any discussion? All in favor signify by saying aye. aye. Is anyone opposed? Motion passes, nine yeas and zero nays. Item 19, resolution approving an agreement between Lafourche Parish Government and Lafourche Parish Sheriff's Office for the donation of camera equipment and authorizing the parish president to sign executed minister set agreement and any all revenue documents. Ms. Shesson will move for me on behalf of the administration. Second by Mr. Adams. Any discussion? Am I to assume there will be an abstention here? Okay, everybody you no know discussion, we'll bring it to a vote. All in favor signify by saying aye. aye. Any opposed? Motion passes with eight yeas, zero nays, one abstention. That abstention being Councilman Window. Good, Ms. Carlene. Item 20, resolution approving the agreement between Lafourche Parish Government and Lafourche Parish Water District Number 1 for the donation of various materials and authorizing the parish president to sign, execute, and administer said agreement and any and all relevant documents. Ms. Chesson will move for me on behalf of the administration. Second by Mr. Jones. Any discussion? All in favor signify by saying aye. aye. Any opposed? Motion passes with nine yeas, zero nays. Item 21, resolution amending resolution number 23-272 that approved an agreement with the state of Louisiana, Department of Education for the Child and Adult Care Food Program, CACFP, for fiscal year 2024 and authorizing the parish president to sign, execute, and administer said documents and any other relevant documents. Mr. Araby for the administration, second by Mr. Window. Any discussion? All in favor signify by saying aye. Is anyone opposed? Motion passes nine yeas and zero nays. Item 22, resolution accepting a grant in the amount of $15,000 from, for, from Agenda for Children and United Way of Southeast Louisiana, Fall 2023, Echo Fund Quality Grant for Lafourche Parish Head Start, and authorizing the parish president to sign, execute, and administer any and all revenue documents. Move by Ms. Chesson for the administration, second by Mr. Adams. Any discussion? I will say that's a weird wording, and it was hard to, to say it. With that said, any, uh, no, no discussion? All in favor signify by saying aye. aye. Is anyone opposed? Motion passed with nine yeas, zero nays. Item 23, resolution approving an agreement between the Louisiana Department of the Treasury and the Fouche Parish Government for funding to clear waterways from storm debris and authorizing the parish president to sign, execute, and administer said agreement and any all relevant documents. Moved by Mr. Mr. Adams for the administration, second by Mr. Jones. Discussion. Mr. Araby. Mr. Chastel, what is the game plan for this and when are you plan to get it started? So you guys are going to approve the agreement tonight. Um, we did take one site visit with a potential contractor and representative Fontenot just to kind of map out the Halpin, Sam Forey, and kind of the areas going in the Councilman Adams district. The other part in Cloverly is very kind of easy, right? It's a straight shot out to the lake. I've been going back and forth with uh, Ms. Mortel, who manages the property, to kind of try to figure out exactly what to do, where to rebuild the spall bank. So I'm hopeful that we get a set of specs and some, some files put out in the next two weeks, so we ought to be able to award a contract either. I don't think we'll have the quotes back by the first meeting in December, so it'll probably be in January. Let duck season happen, and then we'll get out there and start, especially in Cloverly. First of the year, roughly? Yes, sir. Okay, because I'm getting calls on it, you know, and everybody knows that they got this money, so they want to know when you can get started on it. Yeah, so. yeah. We, we've been waiting on the state for some time to actually get this agreement, so we got some, some good progress. And I was told it's 250, it's 200. So it's 200. Um, we're probably going to put up a little bit of extra money out of some Gomesa dollars just to see if we can get a little bit further, uh, but we'll see what the, what the quotes come back as when we get them. All right. Thank you. Mr. Melvin. Yes. Um, just trying to see, is this the item with Thomas C. Construction? No. Okay. So. My question was, I remember similar wording uh, a year or two ago, uh, clearing storm debris from waterways. What's so, the fundamental difference between that and this? So that was a grant from NOAA to actually get marine debris and stuff out post-Hurricane Ida. Um, this is kind of doing the same thing, but it's not marine debris. It's going clear out some old floats that washed in, some trees that are down, some sediment that built up, in, especially in Cloverly. So that's the, the main difference. Right, but kind of similar to what we had to do about a boat launch off the Burry Rose Highway. Pretty close, yeah. Simple. OK. All right, thank you, Mr. President. Uh, with that said, is there any further discussion on item 23 on clearing waterways for, from storm debris? There being none, all in favor signify by saying aye. Any opposed? Motion passed, nine yeas, zero nays. Item 24, resolution approving agreement between Lafourche Parish Government and ELOS Environmental LLC to provide an environmental site assessment and authorizing the parish president to sign, execute, and administer said agreement and any all relevant documents. Ms. Chesson for administration, second by Mr. Adams. Any discussion? All in favor signify by saying aye. Any opposed? Motion passed with nine yeas and zero nays. 
Item 25, resolution approving change order number two for the project titled Wind Retrofit of Public Structures for Ward 6 Senior Citizens Center and authorizing the Paris President to sign executed minister set a change order and any arriving documents. Moved by Mr. Adams for administration, second by Mr. Jones. Discussion. Mr. Melvin. Yes, Mr. President. Is this the time we construction? Okay, here's my question. Uh, I'm going to have to abstain if it's Thomasy, but it's not supposed to be Thompson, correct? It's Thomasy. Okay, I'm abstaining. Thank you. Because you're a senior citizen? <laughs> you remember that? No. Okay. All right. Just wondering what context. No, it's a, all right. it's, a, it's a contact with the company. Any further discussion? There being none, all in favor signify by saying aye. aye. Any opposed? Motion will pass with eight yeas, zero nays, one abstention. That abstention being Councilman Melvin. Good, Ms. Carlene. All right. Item 26, resolution approving an agreement between Lafourche Parish Government and Intergy Louisiana Incorporated for attaching equipment to poles and authorizing the parish president to sign, execute, and administer said agreement and any other relevant documents. Ms. Chesson will move for me on behalf of the administration. Second by Mr. Adams. Discussion. There being none, all in favor signify by saying aye. Any opposed? Motion passed nine yeas, zero nays. Item 27, resolution approving a contract between the Office of Public Health Bureau of Community Preparedness and Lafourche Parish Government for the fiscal year 2024 Cities Readiness Initiative, CRI, and authorizing the Parish President to sign, execute, and administer said contract and any all relevant documents. Ms. Chesson will move for me on behalf of the administration, second by Mr. Adams. Discussion. There being none, all in favor signify by saying aye. Is any opposed? Motion passed with nine yeas and zero nays. Item 28, resolution approving change order number two from Frisco Industrial Contractors, LLC, for the project titled Wind Wet Retrofit of Public Structures, Lafourche Parish Sheriff's Office, Galliano, increasing the contract price by $3,945 and authorizing the parish president to sign, execute, and administer said change order and any all relevant documents. Moved by Mr. Lorraine for the administration, second by Mr. Wendell. Discussion. Mr. Melvin. Yes, just wanted to make sure. This is, I see it's Frisco and Franklin, not the one in Homer. Two different companies. Got it. Any further discussion? There being none, all in favor signify by saying aye. aye. Any opposed? Motion passes with nine yeas and zero nays. Item 29, resolution approving change order number three from Frisco Industrial Contractors, LLC, for the project titled Wind Retrofit of Public Structures, Lafourche Parish Sheriff's Office, Galliano, increasing the contract price by $2,331 and authorizing the Paris President to sign, execute, and administer said change order and any other relevant documents. Moved by Mr. Lorraine for the administration, second by Mr. Wendell. Discussion. There being none, we'll bring it to a vote. All in favor, signify by saying aye. aye. Opposed? Motion passed with nine yeas and zero nays. Item 30, resolution approving change order number one from Barrier Construction Company, LLC, for a project titled Priority Road List 2020, Road Sales Tax District A, Road Improvement Project, increasing the contract price by $98,086.52 and adding 320 additional days and authorizing the parish president to sign, execute, and administer says change order and any all relevant documents. Moved by Mr. Jones for the administration, second by Mr. Adams. Discussion. There being none, all in favor signify by saying aye. aye. Any opposed? Motion passes nine yeas and zero nays. Item K, Parish President, Department Heads, Directors, or Managers Reports, Presentations, and Updates. Item 31, Department of Public Works Representative to present a report. <coughs> Dylan, you have the floor, sir. Thank you, sir. We'll jump right into it. As always, starting with the Thibodeau Field Office, this is Louisa Street outfall, remove trees and debris from the outfall. Morvant Pump Station installed portable pumps. These are two of the portable pumps that we received through that Louisiana Watershed Initiative grant, two of the eight total. Crossing North right away, remove lilies and debris. This is the outfall canal, not the rear of the subdivision, just to be clear. Moving to the Choctaw Field Office, the Choctaw South Levee Canal, clean the Barrow Canal. We also clean the Barrow Canal and the Cramer North Levee Canal. Now we're at the Bay Blue Field Office, Holly Street, swept roadside ditches. We also swept roadside ditches on Cypress Street. Maxine Boulevard right away, shred trees. Bayou Bend Drive, swept roadside ditches. Moving to our Raceland Field Office is the Fields Juno Blue and Caberlin right away, swept outfall. Ronald Vincent right away, cleared trees. Wilson Street outfall, swept outfall. St. Louis Street swept roadside ditches. Mitchell Road swept roadside ditches. 
St. Peter Street swept roadside ditches. I'm sorry, this is a Lockport field office now. Dufresne Street swept roadside ditches. Valerie Street swept roadside ditches. This is the North Nolan Tube Drainage Improvements Project that Mr. Joe talked about earlier. This is the swale ditch directly behind the residence. It's only about 10 foot wide from, from bank to bank. It looks bigger, but it's very shallow. That picture was taken when? Oh, before the first of the month. So this just took place? Yeah, in the last 15 days, yes, sir. La Rose Landon outfall spread spoils. And your middle then, that picture was all the way where it ties into the cross ditch around uh, 12th Street. East 22nd Street, this is the Galliana Field Office. East 22nd Street, clean catch basins. East 93rd Street, outfall, swept outfall. East 37th Street, swept roadside ditches. Moving on, the work completed by the maintenance contractor. There was a lot of work done by the maintenance contractor over the last month. This is Lacoca Drive, repair concrete driveway. St. Joseph Street, repair concrete driveway. Royal Oak Boulevard, repair curbing. Fantastic Acres, repair concrete driveway. Chevrolet Court, repair curb. Suzanne Street, asphalt patch. West 85th Street, asphalt patch. East 57th Street, asphalt patch. And another asphalt patch on East 57. Cedar Tree Street, repair concrete panels. There were three major sections. That's one, two, and three. Lavera Drive, asphalt repair by manhole. Eagle Drive, asphalt patch. As well as another asphalt patch. Romy Drive and 14th Street, asphalt patch. Abbey Lakes Repair Curb. Lewis Street and East Avenue A, Asphalt Patch. Magazine Loop Repair Curbing. North Lake Drive Repair Curb. East Lakeshore Drive Repair Curb. Also on George Road Repair Curb. As far as the office work completed during the month of October, there was one permanent servitude that was acquired. There were no major subdivision inspections or major subdivision reviews. Six property redivision reviews were completed. Ten culvert permits and two fence permits were issued. There were 387 work requests received. 125 permits were reviewed for compliance. Um, 13 jobs were completed by the maintenance contractor. And as far as projects in engineering, we have 29 projects in design phase, five projects that are currently under construction, one project that is out to bid, and no projects were completed within the last month. And with that, I'll entertain any questions. All right, questions. Mr. Melvin. Hey, Dylan. I know with the lack of rain, we've had a, a lot of uh, subsidence, and I know, like, in our neighborhood, we've had... Um, some of these, for some reason, the sewage manhole covers stay at height and the road kind of drops. Uh, I'll just send you a few more. Y'all just put a little, a little way around them so there's more of a rise over run. Yeah, we have one in here just now, yeah, so. about 20 feet in each direction and repaving the street. Okay, okay. I'll to give it a good approach and not too yeah, much I'll of a... I'll send you a couple more because it's just... Sure. I got one more. I don't know if I sent it, but thank you. We'll take care of it. Thank you. Mr. Lorraine. Yes, uh, I didn't see very much on eight and nine unless there's no more film to send pictures in. There was nothing on District 8 and 9. I've been turning in Safari Heights for the maintenance contractor for months. But I look at this, and where is it at? So what was, so what was to be done? So you wonder why I get so upset? What was to be done on Safari Heights? Safari Heights, it's a cement road, and it blew up with the heat. And I turned it in about two months ago. We don't have many cement streets in my district mm -hmm. but i like to get them addressed when they sure. break i'll check with them and see what the status is i'm pretty sure the po is issued but all i see is maintenance contract 
Not in eight and not in nine. I'll check with them and see I mean, where they we're are. part of the parish, too. Certainly. And they've done some work down there. I'll just see where they are, if they have that on the schedule. And if it's not, we'll make sure we get on the schedule. Well, that's what you said last time. Mr. Grew. So as far as the maintenance contractor, um, they've been really good to do stuff like the curbing. And yes, sir. Do y'all do like an audit? Or do you look at what they've done previously? And maybe, I mean, because that's got to be pulling a good bit of the, the, the funds that we have allocated for them. Do, is there any talk of, of buying a curb? fixing machine or whatever you call it the, the problem is the amount of people that it takes to do it right it's the personnel so they might put five or six people on site to do that if we shut down a barn and pull five or six people we're not cutting any grass that day so it's just not worth us doing it yes sir and I mean look for the for curbing we're paying $17 a linear foot to do it I, I don't know if we could buy the equipment and do it for that be in all honesty mr. Jones Mr. LaForge, can I get an update on Diplomat Way? Dip yes, sir. Uh, so Diplomat Way went out to bid this morning. We asked for quotes this morning. Uh, quotes are due at 10 o'clock on the 28th of this month. We also submitted a, a resolution to accept the low quote, and we're going to pencil those numbers in before the meeting. So hopefully at the next council meeting, we can accept that project and, and get it uh, awarded to somebody before the end of the year so they can start construction. All right. Thank you. Yes, sir. Thank you, Mr. Dillon. Much appreciated. Thank you. Brings us to item L, questions for the administration. Mr. Lorraine, you have the floor, sir. Yeah, we started collecting the sales tax in October. What did we collect with three tenths in October? I don't know off the top of my head, Mr. Lorraine. I can find out for you then. Okay, I'd like, I would really like to know because it's seven tenths, but we're only collecting three tenths. And it's could be a lot less than seven tenths. Oh, oh by the way, if I'm in order, I see State Representative Joe Ogeron in the audience. I'd like to recognize him. And maybe he could, if I'm in the audience, could come give us a little no, background. Not, no, not right now. We're, Mr. Lorraine, we're on the L. Questions for the administration. Okay, well, can I do it after? Uh, during discussion, I, I'll allow you to engage him okay. if you want. I just need an update on this, the Gula Metal Bridge. No, right bridge. now I'm we're sure, on the questions for the administration, though. I'm sure he's eager to give us that. Um, Mr. Chess, Ms. Chesson, you have the floor, ma'am. Hey, um, Mr. President, do we have an update on the hospital that we can give out? I, I know a few things, but it'd be better coming from you. So their, their, their PW is obligated for the new hospital. Um, so they're moving forward with that. It's going to end up being what they call a CMAR project, so a construction manager at risk where they hire the architect and the contract at the same time, and they design it as they build it sort of thing, same way the sheriff built the jail several years ago. It worked out pretty well. Um, State Representative Ogeron and I were actually on a call with Mr. Guidry and some of his staff yesterday about uh, the state money that, that we all got for Hurricane Ida that's supposed to help us with our cost shares uh, and how they were going to use that $1 million. I think there was a lapse there when Ms. Karen retired and Mr. Lloyd took over, so we're trying to bridge that gap to help them out. But, but all indications are that they're, they're well on their way to a new hospital. They should be starting demolition on the old one if they haven't already. They, uh, they did. I thought that's what Lloyd said yesterday. I didn't want to misspeak, but um, they're well on their way to building a new hospital. And the temporary, do we have an opening for temporary yet? December, I think, yeah. Yeah, okay, thank you. Okay, uh, any further questions for the administration? Brings us to item M, discussion. Mr. President, you have the floor, sir. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Just as a, a, a few updates for you guys, uh, the PPDR program and the demo projects are, are over. Thank God we finally hit the end of them, so you won't be seeing those on the agendas anymore. Uh, I really want to thank uh, Steve and Christy and Lisa uh, and all the folks from DRC that worked with us for the last two years, basically, to pick up all this stuff. And uh, Don and, and Rodney with WIT, uh, they actually all mobbed out last Wednesday. So all the big trucks are gone, all the monitors are gone. If you're used to seeing them in that back corner of the building, uh, they won't be there anymore. So I just want to say thank you to those guys for, for two years of really hard work and spending two years away from their families to take care of us. On the project side, um, the roof work on the Galliana complex continues. Um, they're getting pretty close to, to, to wrapping that up, so we'll turn our you know, attention to the inside now that, that that's all on its way. Um, Dylan, Councilman Jones gave you an update on Diplomat Way. Um, the animal shelter has started as well. If you guys drive that area, you'll see the dirt work has started um, and they'll start driving piles and stuff pretty soon on that. We had a pre-construction meeting yesterday for the new rodeo arena and the ag complex. Uh, their notice to proceed is gonna be dated for the 16th, which is Thursday. Uh, it's 270 calendar days, so that puts them completed, uh, Mr. Araby, on August 24th. 
uh, barring any rain delays, which is right about what we're shooting for. Uh, we're hoping to have everything up and running for their November rodeo, which is when we'll kind of cut the ribbon. But I did task Robbie and Carolina Communications to do a couple of groundbreakings for us. We haven't done those in a really long time. Uh, so you keep your lookout. You'll get some emails from, from our folks about groundbreakings, and um, we'll do some good PR stuff on that. Um, also did, we did authorize uh, GFP, so Kevin Grow and his firm, to actually go out to bid on the new Tourist Commission building as well. Um, so that'll hopefully hit the street in the next couple days. Uh, in about a month or so, probably early January, you'll see the approval a little bit for that one. Uh, and we're still working through um, a couple of issues with the coroner's office so we can get that out to bid early next year too. I know you guys are really interested in that one as well. So with that, if everybody has any questions, that's all I have, Mr. Chairman. Okay. Um, continue. Anyone has discussion? Mr. Lorraine, if you want to uh, bring up whatever topic it is uh, you have, you want to engage well, I, Mr. Lorraine. I just Lohier. wanted to recognize Representative uh, Joe Ogeron so he could come give us an update on the Golomata Bridge. Or whatever. Uh, well, so, I mean, oh, uh, council, also item B. Except for the council, we obviously have worked through the agenda. I mean, if someone wants to entertain a motion to deviate from the end of this meeting and go back. I'll do that. Or just allow them, I mean, we're in discussion. Why don't you just give, relinquish some time, just get up there and talk, Joe. We good. He's get Mr. Lorraine is going to allocate some time and discussion. <laughs> Make it easy. Testing better. Thank you, Captain IT. Uh, Golden Meadow Bridge. Uh, it, the contract was worn by uh, Reliant Industrial of Lafayette, uh, followed it from DOTD finalizing the contract, checked, spoke with the owner of Industrial, uh, he told me that he'd be working immediately, uh, uh, getting the notice to proceed was done real quickly. He would be working on procurement of the steel as well as all of the electrical items on the uh, material list. Uh, next time I called, I spoke with uh, Mr. Brandon Yuse, who's the local DOTD uh, project engineer. He told me that uh, Mr. LeBlanc with uh, Industrial, with Reliant Industrial Construction, the winning contractor, had requested DOTD to make changes to the way that the repairs would be done, that he had his own machine shop, and with the raw materials that he would get, he would be able to do some of the work in his own shop. That required one extra approval through and a, and a process for checking that through DOTD. Uh, that has been done. The, the, all, the materials are being procured through the month of October or were through the month of October and into November. Uh, I asked Brandon Uzi, the engineer, when will I start seeing people on the ground in Golden Meta actually doing it? The date I was given was December 1st. And on December 1st, they're expecting to, to start around that time. Uh, it's still supposedly uh, six weeks of uh, construction time. That's what I was told. That's what I'm understanding. So that's what we're waiting for right now is for uh, th that to happen. Uh, there were some changes in that they told me that they would be working as quickly as possible to get the bridge deck done, the structural work to be able to open up the bridge and allow ve uh, vehicle traffic to start. And then they would be doing time closures apart from the school bus hours uh, to allow vessel traffic while they did other work. They believe now that they have, that have changed the scope of work and him doing some of this on his, on the, uh, in his own shop, that they would be able to do it all at the same time, both the stru uh, structural work and the electric construction work. Is that sufficient, Mr. Lorraine? That's good. It's coming. It's coming. People ask. People also ask about blasting paint. And as we, as I've learned, whenever I got sworn in to uh, into the the position, that that had uh, been a long-term standing project for 26, 27 fiscal year, a complete refurb of the Golden Meadow Bridge. That has. That's I agree with you on that one. Yeah. So I'm aware. I'm aware that people are asking why it's not being done now. And whenever I ask DOTD. They're saying that that's on the, on the agenda for 26-27. On the Valentine Bridge, uh, Chairman Ota, also a very 
uh, you know, personal uh, project for me that I want to get done as well. And uh, I offered to, uh, to Mr. Plaisance that if there's anything I could do in my capacity to help move things along that I would. Sometimes me poking my nose into things doesn't necessarily help, but a lot of times I found that it does. And I've offered that assistance in any way, even at the federal level. I've gotten, gotten stuff done there as well, so I'm working on that. Speaking of poking my nose and stuff, y'all talked about the marine debris project. Uh, got the Verdant family that's got a shrimp boat outside of Catfish Lake that's still on the bank out there and uh, staying engaged with wildlife and fisheries. Come to find out, you know, they, they, they were awarded uh, dollars to be able to do the marine debris removal. They hired quality first marine from the North Shore to be the contractor. Those people, I called them, they were getting in a, uh, boats. T uh, tugs, barges, cranes, people, laborers, all in order to do the marine debris this, uh, uh, work. And come to find out, they also needed to get the, an environmental permitting company. It was ELOS, E-L-O-S, that I believe y'all talked about a little bit earlier. And where the thing was stuck was between wildlife and fisheries and ELOS with a contract. And I injected myself, and within two days, they had that contract resolved. And that's now moving forward as well. Uh, President Chasson, thank you very much for, for, the, uh, for the efforts on the IDA, what I call the unmet needs funds for the 10% match. Uh, with Ms. Karen's departure uh, and, and Mr. Lloyd Guidry taking over in that position, uh, whenever I engaged them to find out where they were with all of this political subdivisions in Lafourche Parish, they mentioned that they hadn't, that we must have some political subdivisions that must not want the money because they're not responding. And I said, well, which one is it? And the first one they came up with was hospital district number one. And I said, oh, no, 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 they, they definitely want the money. And it was just because of Miss Karen's departure. Actually, I got an email today that said that the uh, communications district, I believe, is also, they're asking me if I know any contact. Lafouche Parish Communications District. Okay, that is true. All right. And they, also the city of Thibodeau, but I don't know what's... Gotcha. All right. So moving on. Uh, I know you all talked about uh, energy and, and poles, getting uh, poles, equipment hung on po energy poles. I have been approached by people asking me why the on the 308 side, primarily between La Rose and Valentine, the fiber optic line, they pretty much said, would you please tell Rev to get their stuff together and get those, those lines off, to which at the uh, Nichols golf tournament, I brought that up to Mr. Eddie Colley, and he says, well, go talk to Archie. He knows all about it, that it's really, I think it's company now defunct C to C equipment that's on that there discussed. and really that was discussed at length at the last meeting by, I, by, by energy yeah i apologize that so, if yeah. uh, if that needs to be pushed as well so I'll, mr chairman we actually got um dylan and i actually got a text from paul i was driving lafayette this morning the contractor started today excellent so it's moving all right yeah okay. i have i have wires that i literally pick up every day to go on a need to go into some right of ways totally is, that, is that bad all right well <laughs> people, from, people from people all the way down at the plant, call me and tell me to get that it's done, bad. that they don't like seeing it. It's bad. I think everybody's, everybody's pretty much had enough with any eyesore, post or whatever it is. We're two years past, and it's time to get back to normalcy. Uh, I'm winding down. Only got three left. Capital Outlay, thank you all very much for putting forth all of the Capital Outlay projects. I will do my, I will endeavor to my best possible uh, means to be able to get y'all as much money for all the Capital Outlay projects for Lafourche Parish. Uh, Today, thank you, Mr. Mitch Ogeron, for coming to the stake this Le Fouchon State Park stakeholders meeting that we had in Galliano. So, as y'all know, the the Kaiwet family donated some property at the end of the Fouchon Road, all the way to the beach. There is a, of course, a project to do a beach refurbishment of the Fouchon Beach that the port is driving, as well as the bridge that uh, I believe y'all may be playing a part in. Uh, the the state park people are, are ecstatic about adding Lafourche Parish's first state park. Mr. Cody Gray was there from the tourism department, also sees it as a game changer for us, and uh, happy to be playing a part in getting, getting that moved along. Lastly, my last item is about the cattlemen and the meeting that we, we attended uh, last week. 
and the request that was so kindly put in to, uh, to GOSEP and Web EOC for the pumps. I prayed for rain as hard as I could, Mr. President. Uh, even though we got rain, it was just a drizzle. It hasn't act actually made much of a difference, I'm sure, in the ponds. I see Mr. Mr. Go has arrived as well. I spoke with a few cattlemen on the way up here. They were, uh, they, they wished they could attend, but I told them that I was coming and they asked that we continue forward in procuring the pumps and still working through the, uh, you know, the, the, the process of whatever that may become in order to start backfilling uh, the reservoir canals with water or the best quality water that we could obtain from outside the system. So uh, with that, I would be happy to entertain any questions that you all have. Can I, can I, okay, you can go ahead. Joe, if you don't mind, can you get with Miss Christie? There's a vessel that's, they got washed up on the lot in the upper La Rose, and the, she'd been working with the wildlife and fishery to try to get it out. So maybe you can assist on it's yeah, a, making the, sure the it's on the list. Crossbow. And the list and the owner learning don't. That's what I found out about why it was taking so long is whether or not it needed to be certain levels of permit. And any time any salvage is done with vessels, uh, basically after there it's touched who becomes the owner of it and getting it back to the to the original owner or whatever. Well, the owner this guy's it. concerned because if he moves it on his own and they decide to sue him, it could be a problem. I understand. But it's in the middle of his lot. And he's been, she's been working on that for two years. Right. We, she makes a little headway, then it goes back, and a little. So maybe you could throw well, your Lumpkin, two piece in and help. We've we've worked in the last few weeks uh, on grants and things like that. Feel free to give me a call tomorrow, and we could discuss. Good. Cause Thank you, man. That. Not a problem. The only question I have, Joe, is uh, you didn't mention the five bridge uh, replacement project started in 2012 after I lost a mail lady in Lockport. And we've been there many times. Matter of fact, I think you, I, and Hugh went to Homa, and we talked to them about this is the replacement of the McLeod Bridge, the, the highest location for fatalities in Correct. my district. Um, just any status update? Is they still the projects are still there, is my understanding. I I have none, and as I go to my Salafouche Levy district meetings, and they're talking about bridge, uh, they're talking about Breton Canal reconnection. Uh, to be able to draw down by Lafouche, I ask about the bridges. And all I know is that on DOTD list, there's a, a one project that's called Five Bridge 308 yeah. Replacement. So, uh, but I could get a, an update on that. Yeah, I would respectfully request that we get see where we stand on it. I think you, right when you became yeah, state, I remember, remember I remember going. I okay. absolutely remember. All right, good. Much appreciated, Joe. Not a problem. Thank you, sir. Thank you all very, very much. Appreciate all y'all do. Um, any further discussion? So I'll bring up, uh, I just want to mention that we are still under a burn ban since Joe is here and he calls me so regularly about it. Um, the state fire marshal's office today asked for input from uh, uh, fire chiefs across the state. And of course, I gave the same spell I've been given since day one that I never needed a burn ban. And seeing cane burn makes no sense to me that we have a burn ban. But anyway, we'll see if anything happens. I'm hopeful that uh, perhaps this week we'll have something coming out from the Louisiana State Fire Marshal's office. Um, also, I want to thank Dylan uh, for uh, the North Barrios drainage project. Uh, the issue I had with the contract on Friday, you reaching out and taking care of that on a Friday. Much appreciated. No further discussion. I'll move to item N, adjournment. Now I entertain a motion by Mr. Adams, second by Mr. Jones. With there being no further business, Lafouche Parish Council regular meeting on November 14, 2023 will be adjourned at 1754 hours. All in favor signify by saying aye. Any opposed? Motion passes 9 yeas, 0 nays.